Good morning, everyone, and thank you for tuning in today. I'm Jenna Stauffer. Every human being needs a home, but unfortunately, there are so many in our community who are without one. Every day, there are men, women, and children who are living in their cars, in the streets, in the mangroves, or other dangerous places. They are individuals and families at risk. Not only do they lack adequate housing, but they lack adequate nutrition, social services, medical attention, and personal hygiene facilities. The video that you're about to see this morning, it was created by the Florida Keys Outreach Coalition. They provide hope and solutions for the homeless in Monroe County. Key West and the Florida Keys, paradise, the nation's only Caribbean island. But even this tropical oasis can be a heartbreaking and tragic place for many individuals and families. Because try as we may to ignore it or pretend it doesn't happen, people do fall through the cracks. Even here. Broken homes, substance abuse, mental illness, domestic violence, poverty, foreclosure, disability. The list of reasons is endless, but the results are the same. The scope of the problem is worsening day by day. It is an epidemic that, given the present economic climate, is likely to continue to spread. Homelessness transcends race, gender, age, family status, and educational background. Florida has the third highest number of homeless persons of any state in the nation. According to the Department of Children and Families, 40% of all homeless people are families. 60% are single adults. 8% are elderly persons over the age of 62. 23% are children. As small as this island chain is, literally hundreds of people, including many infants and children, are homeless on any given night of the year. In fact, Key West and the Florida Keys have the highest population of homeless people per capita in the state of Florida. The average life expectancy for a chronically homeless person is 44 years of age. Thousands die on our nation's streets every year and far too many are laid to rest right here in Key West. Standing against this tide of homelessness is an inspired and dedicated organization supported by community volunteers, faith-based communities, generous individuals, foundations, and corporations. When we return from these messages, I'll be speaking with community activist Erica Biddle. She has just launched a new exhibit that will be on display at the studios of Key West titled Hidden in Plain View, Faces and Stories of Homelessness. Starting tonight, you'll be able to see it. It will be on display for four weeks. The aim of this exhibit is to uncover all of the many layers of homelessness. Stay with me.